Bye. Okay, so these AI programs are probably not the future spawn of Skynet. You know, the AI from Terminator movies that was out to destroy humanity. I mean, probably. But maybe Splice should be scared. Because these AI programs are here to help you with sound design. So let's jump on in and check them out. Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at emergent drums, which is sound design for, as the name implies, drums, and then also to sistema, which is for sounds other than drums. And both of these have very distinct personalities. Okay, let's look at emergent drums first. The thing that I love right off the bat on this is it's very intuitive and easy to use. You can move these locations around if you want to maybe move this drum over here so that the formatting is a little bit different because I've noticed that it's not exactly the standard layout which is normally kicks over here snares hi-hats like this they got them kind of mixed up so I would want to move these around but you know whatever it's a small feature and again you just grab and drag this to wherever you want it to be so it's very easy to kind of to get this format to be exactly where you want it to be. They have a number of different presets that you can pull from initially that kind of get you started, which that's a really nice element to it. These drums sound pretty good. But here's how it kind of works, all right? So you got a starting point. And then you can come over here to adjust like the attack and release. These all tend to be pretty short as it is. So I don't know if you. Okay, so this is a better example over here. If you want to tighten it up a little bit, you can. Although you can't really extend it any further you know if this kick here you want it to be longer you can't just increase the release i mean this sample has more but you can't like go for a full 808 where it's like boom and held out for as long as you hold the note there's kind of a limit to how far that goes that one's nice and longer Oh, by the way, if you want to pick this up, there's an affiliate link in the description of the comments below. If you use that link, it helps out this channel. So once you hear these sounds, you might decide you want it to sound a little different. And this is where you get into the AI generation. You can either choose between crunchy or creamy as a sound generator. Let's just hear this snare. And then you can adjust the release time. Obviously, you can't extend it beyond the length of the original sample. And then if you want to try something different, you just hit generate and you can move the slider based upon how similar you want them to be, or you can make them a little bit more random. Let's make it a bit more similar. Try it again. Okay, well that was not all that similar, but you can nicely go back to the previous sound that you're in before to change your decision. So let's go to much more similar in this time around. I always think this is kind of interesting where some of them throw this little piece out there. If you want to, you can just quickly tighten up the end of it without having to even do the release. So it cuts that whole portion out. Now let me, let's, let's keep trying here to make some a little bit more different. But I love this feature because generally when you're looking for samples, usually you find something that's close to what you want, but you're like, this one's close, but I need it 
to be maybe a little poppier or something like that. And this allows you to narrow in on the sound you like. They do have some general categories here. So when you're in the snare category and you're hitting random, you're not going to just end up with something completely different that's outside of the snare category. Another thing I really love about this interface here is that you have two things. You have this filter that you can use to narrow down the frequency range because sometimes when you have samples, you know, there's too much bass in them or something like that. just allows you to be able to have a lot of control right here in the Emergent Drums plugin rather than having to do that in your effects chain or something else. And then you also have clipping. So if you wanna have that grit to drum sounds, it's right there in the interface. And I'm oftentimes having to add overdrive or saturation or something like that to beef up the samples. I just love that you can do it right here. and it really changes the sound a lot. Like, let's take this kind of 80H sound here. Maybe this one too. Oh, also, you can play with the pitch. Let's pop this snare up a lot higher. There we go. Oh, drop this one back down a little bit. You also can do choke groups that are in here as well. So you can just use this interface like a drum rack without having even taking the samples out of this particular space. That really saves a lot of time as well. So you're getting to do sound design, but you're getting to do it within an interface that is very usable and playable as it stands right now. So you can of course save any of these things if you want to. And one other thing I really love about this, you have the ability to immediately export samples directly into your DAW and you want to pull that out you just simply drag it over here and now you have that sample. You can do the same thing with the whole set of 16. You simply do this and now the whole set of samples from this kit are extracted. So if you're someone who prefers to drag samples around to arrange and produce your beats this was going to work great. So yeah there's lots to love about this. If there was going to be any sort of thing that I wish was different. Wish you could kind of say combine this sound and this sound to see what it comes up with. Or as I mentioned before, I wish you had the ability to to iterate on a sample and have its length extended as well. Because again, if this snare, it, it's just short. So if you want a snare that rings out a little bit more, I have this on maximum release. There's nothing you can do to iterate on the snare that makes it longer unless you just kind of hit the generate button until you end up with something like that, you know? So for whatever reason, this one just kind of generated a long sample and I probably want to save this one as a starting point so that when I start to go through iterations on it, I got a longer sample to be there because now I can tighten it up, you know? You can always make them shorter. You just can't make them longer unless they exist to be long. But that's the only thing I would say. Otherwise, I love it. I mean, the interface, I mean, it kind of does everything that you'd want it to do. Very well designed. Okay, so now let's check out Sistema. And first of all, man, this user interface looks just so clean. It makes me want to use it, I'll have to admit. And I love how they have the effects right here, ADSR and other filter elements that you can get to easily. But it's just, it's clean. I like that. So to get to a new sound, this is just one here. You don't like it? Click the button.
They allow you to drill down a little bit deeper as well by different sort of categories and characters that you want to think about. So maybe let's just go with synth and we'll go to string next. Uh, but let's add a few more effects on this one. So you have a lot of controls here. What I don't really understand is why these change every time I switch this around. Maybe they just have some that they feel like are meant to go together, or if that's completely random, I don't really know. And again, if you want to change some of the individual dynamics, you can certainly do that by increasing the attack or release, let's say. Another thing that's pretty cool is that they come up with some pretty quippy names. Voluptuary pluralism? <laughs> I'm not sure if those are just randomly generated or how they do it, but it's a very nice touch to actually have a preset name in there that's fun. So if you want to save it, you just simply click here and you can change the name if you want to. If you feel like that voluptuary pluralism is a little too erotic sounding, go ahead and switch that to something else. Don't like it? Try something different. so on. I still don't get why there's so many different effects down below here. I would have thought those would be the same, but um, oh, I guess you can go through and change them. Look at that. So it looks like it throws in some to start with, but then if you want to, you can just go ahead and choose between any of these in any order. Go back and increase the attack on this one again. Maybe more release. Increase the tension. Pretty simple, very intuitive, an endless stream of potential sounds that you can pick from. Now, and like I've said before, if you want to buy this, there's an affiliate link down below in the description or comments. If you use that, it helps out my channel. Another really cool thing with the synth is you have this whole prompt section to be able to type something in here like thick saw pad and generate something. I mean, that's pretty much a thick saw pad right there. And then you can keep iterating on that same prompt. I'm going to save that one. Conate jaw. Okay, so let's go back to this prompt and try something different. Plucked bell sound. Mm, that doesn't sound very bellish, but... Definitely got that plucked quality in there. Okay, so how about a new one like um, a farty bass sound? Mm -hmm. 
You can get a little bit uh, more specific in here too, like piano sound for hip hop. Uh, piano sounds are going to be kind of hard. How about we do like a EDM stab? Hmm. Okay. EDM. All right. How about synth for EDM? That one's got a nice little bell sound in there. I like how it's on the bottom part too. I'm gonna save that one. Nervy prop. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more space. Maybe make it more massive. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna save that one too. Did I already save that? Well, whatever, I'm gonna save it now. And then you can get to your presets by just clicking up here on the name and it'll show you all the presets you got. So it looks like I saved two Nervy props. So I probably should rename those if I wanted to come up with some different variations on it. Now, just a word here. You can't get too cheeky with regard to these prompts like women screaming. <laughs> Doesn't wanna do that. And you can't do sound effects like noisy riser. So generating FX, nor can you do like a drum sound. They're not doing those, but you can do like crunchy 808. I don't know if I call that crunchy, but So I wish you could make it into monophonic as opposed to just the polysynth, but maybe that'll be something they add later. Like, I don't know where it's gliding from. That's not really like how glide works, but whatever. The one thing that I wish you could do in Sistema is something like what we saw in emergent drums where you could change the sound when you hit the iteration button that you can maybe decide whether or not you want it to be really different from what you just heard or something similar so that you could kind of narrow down your choices like you're you know usually when you're looking for sounds you're like oh that's almost what i want but i need it to be a little bit more fill in the blank you know a little punchier a little crunchier a little bit more pluck and then have it like focused iterations because once you hit this button i mean you kind of don't know what's going to happen now the iterations will occur within these different categories but oh but my god those two last ones we heard were dramatically different from each other so if i'm like i want it to sound kind of like this but just a little different and see what else they come up with you can't do that and you can't go backwards to undo that change so once you move off that sound and make a new one that's it whatever you heard so you really need to kind of think about maybe saving the one before you hit this refresh button because you're not going back to what you just played but man an endless stream of different samples that you can keep iterating on that's pretty cool Okay, so that's a wrap. I'm so curious what you think about these two programs. Leave a comment down below and I'll see you on the next video.